Alright guys, Rich here from the RC Network and this is going to be an upgrade video for the Losi Mini 8T. T stands for Truggy. Now many upgrade parts are out there that are already existing for the Mini 8 Buggy and some are compatible with the new Truggy that was just released a couple months ago back in July of 2014. Now Hot Racing is definitely known for some of their great upgrade parts. They're great anodized aluminum and just overall good looks to some of their parts. Now I went ahead and picked up several of these items that were intended for the buggy version of the Mini 8 and they happen to work perfectly fine on the Mini 8T Truggy. So went ahead and picked these things up. I went ahead and installed them uh, just to make sure that everything is as advertised and wanted to show you guys exactly what I picked up and how it will help benefit the Mini 8T. Now, uh, the first few parts here that I'm gonna show you are some of their aluminum knuckles and hub carriers, caster blocks as well. So um, the parts are just outstanding. When I first uh, got them, I really admired uh, not only the attention to detail of some of the uh, laser etching, but also the chamfered edges and just all the extra items that Hot Racing kind of put into their products. Now you'll see here that um, I went ahead and I picked up both the front caster blocks and the front steering knuckles. So, um, you know, great anodized aluminum. It's all in black. It has some great laser etching of the HR logo, the Hot Racing logo. And you'll also notice that they did that extra step. They went ahead and laser etched the side of vehicle that it is intended for. Now, you know, some people may think, yeah, I don't really need that, but when you're dealing with these parts and trying to get the correct orientation, the little R on there definitely helps. And you'll see here on the other side, the L is also up there on the top right corner. So very nice. Uh, the uh, parts went on with no uh, hiccups whatsoever. They do come with no hardware, but all of the hardware that's included in your Mini 8 kit just goes right in and you're all set to go. One thing to keep in mind is you do need to use Loctite now that you're putting steel screws or ball ends into aluminum items. So make sure you have that Loctite handy and you should be ready to go. Really quick, the model numbers on those items, there's gonna be uh, links in the video description down below. So just feel free to click on those things and you'll be set to go. So the front steering knuckles right there, that is the model number. So black aluminum, steering knuckles, you get the picture. Next thing here is the aluminum caster blocks. Also, you know, everything is gonna be labeled Mini 8 and they work perfectly fine here on the Mini 8T. Uh, one other thing I wanted to show you guys are the clamping hex hubs or basically the 12 millimeter hexes. Um, I went in and picked up this set here for the Mini 8. They are just slightly narrower than the stock plastic ones that come on the Truggy, but with the uh, offset of wheel that I'm running, these things are gonna be perfectly fine. Once again, you are dealing with anodized aluminum. They are black and the coolest part about them is they do have a clamping feature. So they do come with that little uh, uh, screw right there that kind of clamps through and gives you a really solid connection uh, to your axle there. So very, very nice. And that should uh, provide some pretty good um, you know, added security there on the Mini 8T. Now, one thing you do want to mention is uh, it does come with a screw right there. Um, it takes a 50 thousandths wrench and they do actually provide that in the package. So you're pretty much set to go. However, I do uh, definitely recommend the MIP tools. These things are just solid and, and really work well uh, with uh, all of their applications. So um, definitely broke this thing out and it definitely worked great. So let's go on to some other things. Uh, the rear um, went ahead and also picked up the matching uh, hub carrier for the rear. Once again, anodized aluminum, great chamfered edge. And then you also get all of the uh, badging back there for the hot racing logo and also the right and the left. And you're all set. And once again, those clamping hexes, also a nice added feature there and some extra security when you're out there bashing or on the track. So. Pretty cool. Uh, next item here, let's go ahead and take a look at probably the most controversial item on the Mini AT these days is that spur gear. Well, Hot Racing is definitely famous for this item. They actually came out with this for the Mini 8 buggy. And of course, it will work here on the Truggy as well. 
Now this is a 60 tooth and I did pick up the 48 pitch version of this. They do have a 0.5 mod um, that is the uh, stock gear mesh, but I'm gonna be running some different electronics and also a different pinning gear to accommodate this 0.48 pitch. So please keep that in mind. Um, as far as the, uh, a couple things to keep in mind when you're installing this, there is a tiny little uh, bearing that rides on the inner uh, circle of this pinion. You do need to take that off the stock and install it on the new hot racing one. And lastly, uh, there are slipper pads that are on the plastic spur gear. Pry those out with a little X-Acto knife, drop them right onto this thing. So pretty cool that they've also um, you know, kind of drilled this thing out to minimize the weight. This is a steel spur gear, so it's a little bit heavier, obviously, than the plastic one. And you do need to keep in mind which pinion gear that you do plan to run. Now, if you plan to run any of the aluminum ones, you will wear those things out very quickly. So you definitely need to look for the hardened steel pinion gears to match up with this steel spur gear. All right, last couple things here. Um, these were some items that you know were straight for the buggy. Um, went ahead and I picked them up for, uh, of course, the Truggy here. One thing is going to be this uh, graphite battery strap. You know, you can't uh, have enough carbon these days in RC, so went ahead and picked up this strap here. Um, you know, Hot Racing did a great, uh, a great design to this thing. You know, they, they did some cutouts right there. You got the M, you got the HR, and then the 8 on the end. So really nice, fits straight onto the Truggy. You just use your existing uh, clips there and you're pretty much set to go. So direct replacement there for the stock plastic one that comes with your kit. And lastly here, I did pick up the uh, sway bar kit that was designed for the buggy. Um, you know, great little kit here. It, uh, it, it shows some really attention to detail at a very small scale. I mean, everything is basically scaled down from an eight scale size buggy down to this little 14 scale. So pretty cool. Um, it is designed for the uh, Mini 8, which is a lighter buggy. So they do give you three different thicknesses of sway bars. I installed uh, the medium one, which is the silver. They also include a blue and a red, red being the lightest and blue being the heaviest. So pretty nice that they're including all of those there with your kit so you can kind of tune it for your particular track or the way you want to drive. So a uh, really quick look at how it installed. Went on very, very nice. You can kind of see here um, the little brackets that it comes with. It comes with all the necessary hardware to get this thing up and running. And then of course, uh, these little rod ends right here and the adjustable collar that it rides on. So really nice. You do need a 50 thousandths wrench to get that little set screw in. But if you happen to purchase those clamping hexes, you'll have one already ready to go. Well, that's it guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed all of these cool upgrades here that are already existing out there and definitely in stock for the Mini 8T. I plan to run this thing as soon as I get this thing back up and running and hopefully you guys will enjoy some of these new videos coming out. Well, that's it guys. Questions, comments on down below and as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now guys. Over and out.